Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if this is your first video then welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this plain black smoky eye look. It's a good look for Halloween. Um, I know that I have already done a black smoky eye video uh, not too long ago but, but I have since gotten my Lime Crime Venus Immortalis palette which has all of the black, grey and silver shades in there so I really wanted to do a updated black smoky eye video for you guys and I wanted to see if I could improve because I wasn't too happy with the last one and I'm really happy with the way this one turned out so I hope you guys like the video as well. I will pop the link for my old video down below so you guys can see the difference because I definitely definitely prefer this version but let me know what you guys think down below which version you prefer and let's get into the tutorial shall we okay so I've already got my eyebrows done and I've applied some concealer on my eyelids just to be my eyeshadow base and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to lay down the transition shade so I'm going to be using this shade here called Ash and I'm applying that with a fluffy blending brush and just applying this to my crease and blending it outwards. Next I'm going to be laying down a black base for the black eyeshadow. So I'm going to be taking a pencil eyeliner. I'm taking this one by NYX which is called Slide On, Glide On, Stay On and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. That's a bit of a mouthful. And I'm going to draw all over my eyelid basically and up into the crease and just kind of blend that out using my finger. I may actually also use this little pencil brush just to blend out the edges a little bit so that I don't have any harsh lines and yeah. Okay, now for the black eyeshadow and I'm going to be taking this shade here called Unseen, obviously, and just a little all over shader brush and I'm just popping this on top of where I've done my eyeliner and blending it up into the crease trying to get a nice even blend. Um, if you have to then you can go back in with the blending brush and the grey shade which I probably will do and that can just help blend it all out a bit more. Uh, now I'm just gonna go back and forth between the black and the gray just to build up the colour and make sure that the black is dark enough. Okay, that's the top of the eye complete. I know it looks a bit funny right now with all this black smudges under my eyes, but I'm going to go do my face makeup and cover that up and uh, it should look a lot better. So I will be right back. Okay, now it's time to smoke out the lower lash line. So I'm going to be going in with the transition shade first and then the black. So to apply the transition shade, I'm going to be taking this domed crease brush. And for the black, I'm just going to use that same brush that I was using before. Now for a bit of highlight, I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Transformer and I'm going to be using these two brushes. So for the smaller detailed areas, I'm going to be using this small eyeshadow brush 
And then for my cheekbones, I'll be using this fluffy highlighting brush. On my lips, I'm going to be using my MAC Retro Matte Lipwear, and this is in the shade Lady Be Good. Okay, now the last thing left to do is just to apply mascara and lashes. So, the lashes that I'm going to be using today are these EXO Beauty Foam Ink Lashes. These ones are in the style exotic, they're nice and huge and voluminous and I'm going to be applying these off camera and then I will be back to show you guys the completed look. Okay, so here we have the completed look with lashes. I love this highlighter. I just got this recently and I've been using it every single time I've been doing my makeup because I just love it so much. It just adds like, I don't know how to explain it, it's just like a silver glow shimmer. It's amazing. <laughs> Definitely quite a simple look to do. It didn't take me very long at all. A very good staple look, I guess you could say, for Halloween uh, because it's going to go with pretty much every single costume that you wear. It definitely is quite bold but quite easy to do as long as you just be patient with the blending and the having the grey eyeshadow to be your transition shade is basically the key step here because if you'll see in my previous video I did it just doesn't blend out well it's not as smoky even uh, as this definitely I would suggest using a grey also on the eye I'm pretty sure last time I used a gel liner you know like a dip brow like a pomade type thing um, and I put that all over the eye but I found that after a while my eyelids were getting stuck together like when I opened my eyes so that was quite uncomfortable and if you're going to be wearing this out to a party or something then you don't want that because it's just going to annoy the heck out of you. So I definitely would suggest using a pencil eyeliner as well and not drawing it on too thick you just need a bit of a base so that it helps with the pigment a bit. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did then please thumbs up and subscribe and click that little bell button so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.